Welcome to Tech City. This is part 5 of React JS for beginners. In this part 5, we will see controlled and uncontrolled components. So, the uh, first we will see what are uncontrolled components. I am on a React project. This is the React project wherein uh, I have created this project with the help of a create react app command and I am on app.js file. I have removed all the code from app.js file. Here I start writing the code. Hmm? So I will import react from react. Hmm? After importing I will create the, the parent component that is app app extends react dot component hmm? well now I'm inside this I will write my first method that is the render method and uh, the it will return the due that is a parent due that is due and there is a closing bracket for this parent due hmm? now I will go inside this and write the first input element input element and close this input element inside the input element I will put it type it as text text huh? this is the input element and I'll put in br fine this is a br now I'll come down I'll say export default app no this is what I did so I'll just see what has happened here see we can see this uh, input element the it is it has come on the browser here hmm? I'll keep console open on this side so this is a browser you can I you can see I can type here hmm? okay fine now oh I'll put a button button I'll call it as change I'll call it as uh, uncontrolled this is uncontrolled hmm? this button is for uncontrolled hmm? button fine hmm. now I want to do in such a thing when I click this button the text of this uh, whatever is written in the text of this uh, should get printed here if I press anything that is what happen when I press this button the whatever is written here I want to put in the console this is the thing I want to do for that I need to access the value from this input so for, for doing that we need to add a ref here this is for uncontrolled component hmm? ref here and I have to write a function that is arrow function and arrow function in this uh, I have to pass an argument this argument will be returned sorry will return this dot under slash name I give this equal to whatever is the argument hmm? This is the error function. Now this ref has been written. So whatever this uh, input is there, it is returned. Hmm? Now this should happen with the on on click event. I will write the name of the event that is uh, this dot. The name of the event is uh, uncontrolled. Hmm? I call it as uncontrolled hmm? because this is from uncontrolled now so I put it so uncontrolled here I'll copy this come up here and write that event this will be again a error function hmm? error function here I'll come okay error function this one I want to just print in the block hmm? so this is the value you can see hmm? this is the value so the value is this 
dot name dot value this is the value now this what it is so we'll see right now there is nothing here I'll write tech city and I'll press here see the tech city has printed here so whatever I write so that value is is accessible with that variable hmm? that value I am about to access with this variable that is this dot under slash name so that's how we can uh, use uh, uncontrolled components now we'll see the control components huh? control component huh? yes I put a comment here components huh? this was uncontrolled huh? Huh? Now, uncontrolled use. In, you can see we use the left for uncontrolled components. For using control components, we need to have states. So for that, what I'll do is I will uh, uh, put one more input element, and this element I will close it here. I will uh, type. That type will be should be equal to text text and this uh, value value equal to um, this dot state dot value sorry name of the state so I will say name is name hmm? the value of name of the uh, whatever the name is the state is a name name is a state here now I have to really declare the state here state hmm? state is uh, name state I will put as initial state hmm? state hmm? we'll see what happens now this is initial state huh? so if I want to edit this initial state it is not letting me do and as and the further it is also telling here you need on change event uh, to edit the this initial this state here because what uh, react does is this this in value of this input element is fixed to the state's value so as a state is not changing hmm, so it's not able to it's not allowing us to change the state for that if you want to change the value of if you want this input box to when you're in controlled compounds this is basically applies to whenever you set a, a value here hmm, value here you cannot uh, edit the state huh? we'll see even I'll do this for a controlled uncontrolled now I mean uncontrolled components if I put uh, where is this? after the ref huh? value hmm, value equal to hmm, this dot state dot hmm, name hmm. so here even this also become uneditable hmm. so instead for uh, uncontrolled components we need to put it as default value hmm. Hmm. You have to put it as default value. Hmm? So, if you put as this is a control default value, so it is becomes editable. We can change it. You can see. So, if you want to have an uh, uh, controlled uncontrolled components, huh? or uh, if you want that uh, default value, that is the initial value to change, you set it to default value. Hmm? So, if you set it to default value. The input element becomes editable hmm? if you set it to value it won't let you change the state hmm? because state is fixed hmm? that's what it is hmm? now hmm, this here I'll put it as do value because here what I'm doing is I'm modifying the state state only with the on change component hmm? on change event sorry hmm? 
so on change equal to I'm going to write this event this dot change state okay this is the name of the function hmm? so I'll come up here and control hmm? change state equal to arrow function and arrow from a computer write the arrow function here here I'll say event I'll say event as argument come down here this dot set state and curly brackets so name is the name of the state I will put it as event event dot target dot value event dot target dot value so this control component is going to call this event on change so whenever you edit it is going to it is allowing you now see here this control component is allowing me to edit because the state is itself is getting modified with the on change event on change event so it is allowing us to modify in case if I remove this on change event because I set it to value here it doesn't let me edit okay now to show that the state is actually changing I will uh, what I do is I'll come below here put an br uh, and say put this this dot state dot name uh, I'm going to print the state here uh, see initial state has come here so whatever I edit here it becomes it. see it is like a binding uh, you can call it as double binding so whatever I write you can see here Hmm. It is becomes a hmm. uh, okay. It becomes editable. So this is about uh, React in React the control and uncontrolled components. See, uh, I will upload the, this code into the GitHub. You can uh, go through. Hmm. Thank you now.